Hi, my name is Nick Van Loon and I'm a soon to be graduate from Ferris State University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create curtains in 3ds Max along with how to apply material to those curtains using Mental Ray or V-Ray. So to start, you're going to want a plane. And actually I'm going to delete that really quick. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go to my front display, create my plane, and I'm going to do 200 length by 150. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, then I'm also going to do probably 50 by 40. Yeah, 50 by 40 seems pretty good. Because you're going to want some uh, density for your curtains. Alright, so next I'm going to take a, a box, so ordinary box, come up to the top, and <clears throat> You want to <clears throat> draw it right over this first line. Don't go over the second one, just you know, right through these boxes. And make sure it goes past on each side. And I'll explain what that does afterwards. I'm just going to make sure that goes right over it, just like that. You can see it's in between. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to take my plane. This is going to be my curtain. I'm going to apply a cloth modifier to it cloth and I am then going to go into my object properties I have my cloth here turn on cloth and I'm gonna go with just satin for now okay sorry about the delay I had to stop something okay so you got the satin now you can just click okay uh, next, I am going to go over here, click on the plus, click on group, and this is where you're going to grab, this is where this is going to come into play, the square. You're going to grab this top layer of uh, vertices. You're then going to take those vertices and you're going to make them a group. And I just like to call it top because it's top set of vertices. Okay, now that you have those a group, you'll see it down here. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit, it's not really tricky, but it's like hard to remember, and that's what I'm making a video for. Uh, there's a thing called Node. What you're going to do is you're going to take Node, you're going to click on it, and you're going to select the square. So now, those vertices are attached to that square. Alright, you can then go back to your cloth, and you can, um, oops, go back into it. Let me click on it again. You can go Simulate Local, or you can Simulate. I'm just going to show you Simulate Local for now, but you can animate this square, and it will... You know, this will follow with it. So simulate local. You can see this is all attached to it. I can then take this and I can squish it all together. And you can see it's giving you a nice, you know, curtain style effect. And this can also be used if you took another square and you took some other vertices down here. You can take it and you can grab and pull it across. So let's say that this is how I want this to look. And then I'll come, come back in here and go simulate local and turn that off. You now basically have your curtain, but what I like to do, if you're not really limited on polygons, I like to go in and throw a turbo smooth to make it just, you know, a little bit nicer. Alright, so I can hide this for now. Probably just want to leave it so if you ever want to edit it again. But here is my curtain. So that's how you make the curtain. Now I will be showing you how to make the material for the curtain. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to your material editor, um, clear out a slot. I'm gonna clear out two of them because I'm gonna want one for mental ray and one for V-ray. I wanna go into my settings and uh, keep that on mental ray for now because I wanna show the first one. So, for mental ray, you're going to take a standard material. Uh, don't worry about that. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, standard. You're going to open your maps. And in your opacity map, you're going to click on none. Then click on bitmap. You're then going to go find... Here, let me actually show you this part really quick before I continue. Um, I have some... Uh, images downloaded. I have this lace design here, and this is the design I want for the curtains I'm creating. So what I'm going to do is um, 
the black is becomes see-through and the white becomes you know the visible part in your render so I'm going to be picking this and you can see B has a little bit more detail in it and this will be my diffuse so close that out come back over here and I got my lace curtains and I'm going to click on lace A you can do this with uh, anything you can uh, find any type of material online like any kind of lace look off Google and you can use it or you can create your own so I like to throw on a UVW map for this and um, let's see come over here put this on here there we go yeah so now in my UVW map I can actually come through and control everything <laughs> that didn't work um, playing here anyways um, I can come in and do it like this Oops, I guess I can't I can't control it okay well there's that's not going to work <laughs> don't use UVW map never mind that just control all through here so anyways I have my opacity there I'm then gonna come to my diffuse throw that on and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go to my bitmap and I'm gonna click on 1b so now I have a little bit of texture on there so for an example I'm going to throw a sphere behind here and do a quick render so you can see you have a nice curtain it's all see-through and that's basically how you create curtains it's really simple it's really fast and it's a great process I am going to actually make this a little bit bigger okay I usually work with uh, with V-Ray I don't do much with Renderway so now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing in V-Ray um, it would probably help if I turn V-Ray on first so I got my V-Ray Advance I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select V-Ray Material so I do basically the same process I come over to my opacity map I click on none do bitmap Place A. Oops. Let's click on. Uh, go back to parent. Uh, then click on diffuse. Click on bitmap, and go to lace B. Now I'm wondering when I click on go to parent, this just takes me back to this. So if you click on something, you can go back to the parent, and I can apply that on here. Come back. Click on this, and it's not going to show it. <laughs> it should show up in the render though. Oh, okay. So with V-Ray sometimes, I think this is where I use the UVW map and that fixed everything. Yeah, so with V-Ray you have to use a UVW map. And it's messed up in some spots. Shrink wrap, spherical, face. Um, I'm going to... Uh, that is not working. Um, do like 0.1 by 0.1. Oops. Still not correct. 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Um, wow, it's going to take like 0 0.005, 0 0.005, 5. Huh. Well, anyways. <laughs> um, I think this has to do something to do with uh, my settings, but you can always come in here. I think it's because it's set to real world right now. Yeah. Hmm. It's strange as doing that. But it's basically the same principle. Mine's just being extremely weird right now. Yeah, it's my tiling is extremely weird right now. So, but it's the same concept. You just gotta mess with the tiling. If yours is doing what mine's doing, you know, just go in there and mess with your settings. Just if you do um, settings in here, make sure you then come in and also do it in your opacity map as well. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Now you can see that it's actually okay in here. And yeah.
I got the same results just with V-Ray. So that is how you create curtains in 3ds Max and how to apply materials with V-Ray and Mental Ray. I hope this helped you out so you can go through and slow down the video and go step by step. So I'll be having more uh, tutorials to come hopefully and until then.